The one thing about money that I think people forget is that it's got the weirdest, it's one of the biggest hits with the weirdest time signature. Very unusual, seven, seven, eight time, seven, eight time, seven, eight time. Seven, eight time, seven, eight time. What time signature is Money by Pink Floyd in? Here's the short answer. We heard David Gilmour say it was in 7 over 8, but I was always led to believe, as well as many others, that the song was written in 7 over 4, or felt in 7 over 4. We're going to talk about feelings. Yes, the feelings of 7 4 and the feelings of 7 8, the kind of feelings it gives you. What's the feel behind it? With 7 over 4, we have 7 quarter notes, sometimes divided into a measure of 4 4 and a measure of 3 4. It sounds like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And so on and so forth. With 7 over 8, we have two simple beats and a compound beat. 1, now tell me, based off of those two examples, which one feels more like money by Pink Floyd to you? Yes, that's the important part is feel. We're going to talk about notation, but most people have heard this song, so they know how it goes. Half the time they probably don't even know that it's in an odd time signature unless it was presented to them in that way. So now let's talk about notation. If you did give this piece of music to somebody who had never heard this song before, most people would write it for them in 7 over 4. And it's easier to do it that way. I have yet to see a piece of music of Money by Pink Floyd in 7 over 8. If you find it, please leave me a link in the comments. I would love to see how they do it because we're also talking about the feel here. We're talking about the triplet feel. Yes, this song is swung. It has swung eighth notes. So up at the top of the music, you would also write that the eighth note equals swing. A triplet feel. It would be harder to write it in seven over eight. You would have to write 16th note equals swing. So again, it's... It's all about nomenclature here. It's, yes, seven beats to the bar, but let's just play it for you. Let me summon the help of my friend, the great Gaspar, and we're gonna play Money in seven, just for you. Money! Hit it, Tyler. When I said that we're going to play Money in 7, I didn't mean Money by the Drums played in 7. I meant that we're going to play Money by Pink Floyd, which is already in 7. <sighs> Start it again. Guess. Yes, that was Money by Pink Floyd. Is it in 7 8, 7 4, or is it just a really awesome song? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe for more music demystified. And special thanks to the great Gaspar. And while we're at it, a shout out to Mr. David Gilmore, my all time favorite guitar player, period. And if he says this song is in 7 8, well then screw it, I guess it's in 7-8.